Today we're going to make some hard English toffee. So start out preparing the tray that you're going to pour the toffee into. So I'm just using a baking sheet covered in foil, but this will be way too big for the amount of toffee I'm going to make. So if you have something smaller that's going to end up with, you know, a nice shaped piece of toffee, then go for that. Then we're going to make the toffee. So over a medium flame, I'm putting a cup of butter into a saucepan and melting that up. When you're making toffee, everyone says you should use a wooden spoon. I have no idea the science or logic behind it, but you know, if so many people say it, it is probably true. So next we're adding in a half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Give that a good stir and then add in a sprinkle of salt. This is probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. And give that a stir as well. Then once it started to melt down a bit, I'm adding a cup of sugar. And I like to add it a bit at a time, stirring as I go so that the sugar kind of gets absorbed into the butter. Otherwise you kind of just end up with a big mountain in the middle. Keep stirring it until it starts to gently boil. And from that point, it takes about five minutes until this is ready and you need to keep stirring it all the time. If you stop stirring it, it's gonna burn and just be ruined and disgusting. After about a minute or two of stirring, you should notice that it starts to change color and consistency a bit. It should get very creamy and almost foamy. So keep at it, keep stirring. And after another couple of minutes, you should notice that it's a bit thicker and it's starting to change color into a goldeny brown kind of color. So keep on stirring some more and you're looking for the point where it's this really nice toffee fudgy color and it doesn't look separated. So it should look really, really nice and smooth and delicious. It looks a bit like peanut butter. So as soon as it reaches that point, Take the pan off the heat and pour it straight out into your baking tray. I did not get a shot of pouring it out because I did not want my toffee to burn, but don't scrape the bottom of the pan when you pour it out. Just pour it out and anything that's left in the pan. Just tip some boiling water in there and all of the leftovers will like melt on their own. Then leave it until it completely cools down. So here is my huge cooled down slab of toffee and I'm just breaking it up into chunks. If you want to cut it up neater than me into squares or something, then if you score the top of the block with a knife, then you might be able to snap it into nice squares along those score lines. But I prefer shattered glass kind of toffee. So I hope you like it guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.